Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the company's investor and analyst call. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we will begin with a presentation by the management of the company on the company's performance, results, strategies, and business output. We have received questions submitted by the participants at the time of registration for the call. The management will address the questions received after the presentation concludes. Let me introduce our presenters for today. We have on the call Mr. N. P. Vedyanathan, Managing Director of the company. We also have Mr. Gautam Kamath, Vice President Finance. All participants are placed on mute and can participate only in the lesson mode. Please note that during the course of the call, the presentations and information shared by the management may include forward-looking statements. These statements are made on the basis of the company's current views and assumptions and are not guarantees of future performance and actual events or results may differ materially from those statements. I will now hand over the proceedings to Mr. L.B. Vedyanathan. Thank you and over to you, Elvi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on the call today. It's a pleasure to interact with all of you. Today, I shall take you through the work that we have been, uh, we have been doing at Procter & Gamble Hygiene and Healthcare in line with our strategic priorities and the strides we have made during the fiscal year in achieving our objective. Over 185 years, next slide please. Over 185 years globally, we have shown that our ability to grow is directly connected to our commitment to responsible business and doing good. Our ability to do, uh, to do good is in turn strength by our growth. Therefore, we aim to be a force for growth and a force for good in the communities that we serve, keeping our consumers at the core of it all. Next slide, please. We have been growing and creating value during, prior to, during, and following the pandemic through a strategy that drives growth and value creation through five integrated choices, a portfolio of daily use products where performance drives brand choice, superiority across product package, brand communication, retail execution and value. Productivity to fund the superiority, constructive disruption of the entire value chain to future-proof our business and a highly efficient and effective organization structure. The model is dynamic and sustainable it adapts to the changing needs of the consumers, customers, and society, and is focused on growing markets, creating versus taking business, the most sustainable way and typically most profitable way to grow. We believe that the best pa path forward is to double down on this integrated set of strategies that are driving our results. Let me take this opportunity to talk more on the focus portfolio of daily use products of PGHH in the feminine health, uh, feminine hygiene and personal health care categories. We concentrate our efforts and, and, and focus on delivering superior products with the, with the best performance in every tier in which we compete in these categories. For our feminine care business, we serve our consumers with products that not only meet their needs in a way they expect, but also offer them superior benefits which improve their lives. In turn, the consumers reinforce their trust in the brand, which truly makes Whisper a market leader. Next slide, please. Similarly, our healthcare portfolio serves consumers with an assortment of products that cater to diverse needs, be it single symptom, multiple symptoms, and even evolved needs that require customized solutions. This consumer set centric approach has resulted in VIX continuing its market leadership through the years. Next slide, please. Coming to superiority, that is the formula to delight consumers and earn their chosen, chosen loyalty. Next slide, please. We know that 
we know how to create value in these categories by delivering irresistible superior propositions to our consumers and retail partners across product, packaging, brand communication, retail execution, and value. We continue to raise the bar on all aspects of superiority in all price tiers where we compete. We are leveraging the superiority to grow markets, and as a result, PNG share in these markets as a way to sustainably build the business. Noticeable superiority is increasingly important in an inflationary environment as consumers reassess value across all elements of their budget. We have been very intentional in building a, a strong presence across all relevant price tiers and retail channels so consumers have a choice of different price points and value propositions within our portfolio. Let me translate, next slide please. Let me translate our strategy of superior products for you through an example of Whisper. Did you know that during periods, the flow experience of women at night is different from the flow at daytime? Yes, our Whisper Nights pads are up to 75% longer and wider to give the consumer maximum protection and ensure no staining during period, period nights. This proposition is growing. Strong double digit as it solves a key consumer unmet need. Next slide, please. Our brand VIX leveraged the power of superior communication to better resonate, engage, and serve consumers. We intended to create stronger awareness about the bouquet of benefits VIX VaporUp can provide to consumers versus the select situations where VIX VaporUp was, was most used. The outcome was a simple yet effective message that VIX VaporUp relieves six cough and cold symptoms as effectively as mother's touch of care. And we delivered this message messaging in the language the consumer prefers to prefers on their Channel, uh, channel of a uh, preferred channel of communication. Let's play, play the ad now. Mummy ke hato pe jadu hai, chest pe haat lagate hain. To khasi gayab. Yaha to banna gul. Yaha to sar dar chhu. Jadu to big paper ab mein hai. Iska kapoor de khasi se aaram, menthol band na khole, nilgiri tel sar dar se lade, taaki mile chain bhari nahi. Big paper ab. Another example is our whisper choice communication that takes to the consumer our technology of magic gel, which coupled with a longer pad provides up to 100% stain protection. Let's play the communication, please. Ritu, Periods, Up now, whisper choice and track set. This is the सूखे चार गुना ज्यादा और दे 100% तक दाग से सुरक्षा क्योंकि इसमें है मैजिक जेल नो डर दिन भर विस्पर वी आल्सो एम्फसाइज आवर सुपीरियर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ आवर ऑफरिंग्स थ्रू स्ट्रांग वैल्यू बेस्ड मैसेजिंग इन आवर कम्युनिकेशन ऑन पैकेजिंग एंड एट शेल्फ फिजिकल और वर्चुअल इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिटेल एग्जीक्यूशन पॉइंट ऑफ सेल is an equally important touch point to engage and educate consumers and by driving superior retail execution we intend to we intend to serve our consumers and customers next slide please success in our highly competitive industry also requires agility that comes with a mindset of constructive disruption a willingness to change adapt and create new trends and technologies that will shape our industry for the future. It's a healthy dissatisfaction with the status quo. And this mindset of constructive disruption is even more important in this challenging, ever evolving macroeconomic environment. We are innovating. How we innovate? Moving faster by combining over 180 years of expertise with entrepreneurial spirit of a startup. Next slide, please. 100% of our brands are impacted by technology in some way or the other. 5 billion plus of our consumers worldwide feel the effects of our innovative tech-enabled solutions. Be it binding of consumer inside or customizing our media reach 
to reach consumers where they are. Enhancing our go-to-market operations to create value for our partners. Driving digital transformation within the organization for better productivity and expanding availability and service at stores using the power of AI ML. Tech is truly powering our engines. We have moved away from media planning in silos, TV, digital commerce, e-commerce separately to an integrated media approach where an algorithm powered by latest trends and historical data can bring up the best cross-screen media model that helps us achieve maximum reach at the lowest cost. Historically, our supply chain has been a competitive advantage for us, and we are investing significantly to strengthen this advantage and be better positioned to handle larger capacity and higher ranges of demand, demand volatility while reducing over-dependence over on singular nodes. We call this Supply 3.0, the next generation of supply chain, an end-to-end, -end synchronized, sustainable, and resilient supply chain amplified by data analytics. For instance, in India, we are leveraging data uh, to optimize total distance traveled and reduce kilometer, number of touches by the product while improving our speed and reliability to the market. This has resulted in 35% faster speed to the market and has also resulted in reducing 6 million kilometers, a significant reduction in our total amount of carbon emissions. Strategic, next slide, please. The strategic need to keep investing in superiority, the short, the short term need to manage through a very challenging cost environment and the ongoing need to drive balanced top and bottom line growth, in, including margin expansion, underscore the importance of ongoing productivity. We have developed a strong productivity muscle over the years. Productivity is now fully embedded in our operating model and is embraced in every part of our operations. Specifically last year, through our productivity in, uh, interventions, this company achieved savings of over 105 crores. Next slide, please. PNG's organization structure is designed to focus our human, technical, and financial resources on our biggest opportunities for growth. This structure yields an empowered, agile, and accountable organization with little overlap or redundancy, flowing to new demands, seamlessly supporting each other to deliver against our priorities in the community. One aspect of our empowered organization is the organization focus on citizenship. We have embedded citizenship in the way we do business every day, and our efforts are based on community impact, equality and inclusion, and environment sustainability with a strong foundation of ethics and, co and corporate responsibility guiding everything we do. Through this, we aspire to positively impact our people, communities, partners, and leverage the voice of our brands to maximize impact. Next slide, please. The journey of enabling starts with our people at PNG who live our spirit of being a force for good every day. We continue to upgrade our bouquet of programs, policies and programs to cater to our diverse workforce so that every single person can bring their whole authentic selves to work every day. For example, we recently introduced our infertility treatment policy to support all employees and their partners with more inclusive opportunities for family planning. This program supports employees of diverse gender identities, sexual orientations, and family structure. Similarly, we continue to be committed to accelerate the pace of change outside of PNG, be it removing barriers to education and economic opportunities or advancing inclusion of LGBTQ plus community and many other initiatives. You can learn more about this about them in our citizenship report now live on our website. We are also leveraging our significant voice in advertising to tackle bias through our longstanding brands, move, brand movements uh, like key, Whispers, Keep Girls in School. Our recent film, Whispers Missing Chapter, takes forward this movement and aims to educate mothers on the biology of periods so that they in turn can educate their daughters on menstrual hygiene 
and health. From being the first brand to advertise sanitary pads to now being the first to depict female anatomy in the advertising, Whisper continues to break taboos and, edu and educating on and educating a lot of women mm. on menstrual hygiene and health. Let's look at this film now. Zignesh? Present, Miss. Purvi? Purvi? Absent, Miss. pack of whisper ultra you buy you too can help us keep a girl in school a long standing commitment to education is also our way of contributing to the social development of the country brought to you brought to life via our flagship csr program png shiksha PNG Shiksha is a holistic educational program which addresses critical barriers to achieving universal education. Over 18 years, Shiksha has helped reach thousands of schools and communities impacting over 35 lakh children. Next slide, please. Environmental sustainability has been embedded into PNG's business practices, and we cons consistently strive to minimize our environmental impact encouraging consumers and suppliers to do the same. We have committed to accelerating efforts to combat climate, climate change as part of Ambition 2030. We've committed to be net zero by 2040. Our global water strategy aims to restore water in water-stressed areas around the world. Today, we are collecting more packaging waste than we put out and, le and leverage renewable energy in our operations. Our brands are incorporating sustainability in serving consumers with superior products, for instance, by, by leading the use of recycled plastic. Next slide, please.
many of our these efforts have been recognized widely by prestigious innovation uh, institutions which only reaffirms our belief of being a force for growth and a force for good with that i hand it over now to our cfo mr gautam kamat thank you elvik good morning everyone <clears throat> my name is gautam gautam kamat and i'm the vice president finance for png india lv spoke about our integrated growth strategies and how they're making a difference to our business results i will now share with you what exactly these business results have been in the past one year as well as over a longer period i'll also share with you our view on the long term outlook for the industry as a whole of course many of you sent over questions which i will address in the course of my uh, my session we have bounced back in a year in which the industry faced several headwinds in the healthcare category specifically we faced a very strong category growth challenge as the impact of a high covid driven base got corrected despite that our sales for the q4 quarter grew 3% excluding the impact of any one time items the headline though was not our sales rather it was the bounce back of our profits which grew 255% driven by the premiumization and pricing and a reduction in expenses in response to our productivity program for the fiscal year our sales grew 12% excluding the impact of any one time items we saw strong growth across both our portfolios despite the challenging situation on category demand growth for the cough and cold sector as well as the massive commodity headwinds in the industry the profit grew a strong 10% excluding the impact of one time items we were able to offset the headwinds through a combination of prudent pricing combined with our productivity program which as lv earlier mentioned delivered 105 crores in savings for the year just give me a second yeah before i address some of your questions i want to talk about the external landscape and how we see it evolving next slide please <clears throat> FMCG consumption in the April May June quarter was the fastest that we have seen in the past 6 quarters. Inflation is softening and volume growth is finally returning. The 7.5% volume growth in the quarter is great news for the industry and the economy in general because we know volume growth eventually unlocks capital investments and triggers a very uh, a positive investment cycle. In another piece of good news the rural growth is inflecting as well. with the with the quarter showing 1.4% volume growth in the non food sector after four quarters of significant volume decline many of you had questions on you know how rural economy is growing and i'll address them later and how that impacts our business as well while the term cautiously optimistic may be a bit of a cliche in the field of investments i believe it's the term that best describes our outlook for market growth at the moment we are seeing the consumption trends to be broadly up driving our optimism retail inflation for the month uh, however retail inflation for the months of july and august have averaged 7% uh, and august rainfall has shown a 11% negative deviation from the norm uh, driving the caution part of it on anecdotal evidence september rainfall appears to have bounced back and may have a big say in how the rest of the year pans out <clears throat> many of you also asked about commodity prices commodity prices have remained high and we have not seen the cost pressures receding as expected the bars that you see on this chart here represent the three commodities that we use the most in terms of value you can see the price up charge in the fiscal year 22 23 was even higher than the increase in fiscal year 21 22 and they're not showing signs of receding yet this means bottom line pressures will remain of course this could differ based on the particular commodities that impact each industry and each category i return now to more pghh statistics especially some long term data our integrated growth strategies that lv laid out are working out are working for us we have delivered consistent high single digit sales over the past 10 years while at the same time delivering a cumulative annual profit growth of 13% while becoming more and more asset efficient 
our return on equity has improved by 54% during this period. Our operating profit margin during this period has increased by a whopping 550 basis points. Another way to look at these numbers is in absolute. Our absolute sales have gone up 2.3 times over the past 10 years, while profits have more than tripled, demonstrating our ability to consistently deliver superior execution of our strategies. We have also created significant shareholder value over this period. Our dividend per share over the past 10 years has increased by six times, and our share prices have reflected the consistency of business results delivery. Once again, our integrated growth strategies enable us to bring consumer centricity to life and have been the guiding forces enabling these results. We are confident that these are the right strategies to navigate the near term. I'm now going to move to the Q&A session and would like to thank you for sending your questions in advance. Many of you had questions on category growth expectation for the next few years. I quote one question here from Mr. Mudit Minocha uh, from M3, uh, which is, what is the category growth expected for the next five to seven years? We expect volume consumption growth within the FMCG category to be in the mid single digits over the next five to seven years. There are, however, several categories where consumption is fairly underdeveloped whether we look at the potential to further improve and impact consumer lives, or whether we compare it to other countries with similar per capita income. We see an opportunity to grow these categories double digit. To make this a reality, the role we see companies like PNG play is to continue to drive awareness and education, uh, making our products available to consumers at varied price points and retail channels, and continuing to delight them with superior propositions at the right value. There were quite a few questions on our current market share, our strategies to defend that market share, uh, and long-term uh, you know, plans and strategies going forward. Um, again, Mr. Mudit Minocha from M3 asked this. Mr. Mr. Vishal Gutka from Philip Capital asked the same question. Uh, Mr. Akshay Jogani from Exponent, um, Mr. Aman Batra from Goldman Sachs, and Mr. Ranjit Hingorani all asked the same question. So let me try and address this. We are market leaders today in both the feminine care category, where we are nearly half the market, and in the cough and cold category, where we are over half the market. This has been possible because our focus has actually been to grow and build the category, and that's, why, and that's what we will continue to focus on. Our integrated growth strategy will continue to form the primary foundation for us. This means focusing on delighting and serving consumers, customers, society, and shareholders to the five strategic and integrated choices. A portfolio of daily use products in categories where performance drives brand choice, superiority across product, pack, product package, brand communication, retail execution, and value, productivity in everything that we do, constructive disruption across the value chain, and an agile, accountable, and empowered organization. LB gave you examples of each of these. This strategy has helped us navigate multiple challenges in the recent past, and we are confident that these are the right ones to hold us in good stead in the times to come. <clears throat> I'll move on to the next question. Uh, Mr. Vishal Gutka asked uh, if recent distribution expansion uh, will help us to do or to gain meaningful market share and volume growth. A short answer to this is yes. There was never any question of whether distribution expansion directly leads to market and category growth. As we make our product, or as we, uh, you know, it helps us make our products available uh, and uh, better serving to our consumers and customers. The real question was, can we go deeper in a sufficiently cost effective manner and grow profitably? That is the question that we have answered positively with our recent distribution expansion. Talking more about how we did it. We developed an in-house artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm that analyzes consumer behavior patterns to customize a range of PNG products that uh, at a store level. With this, we have transitioned from a cluster-based planning to a store and neighborhood-based planning. This win-win model is helpful for the consumer in making their desired products available and helpful for the store owners, helping them optimize inventory 
and significantly reducing non-moving stock. I'll move to the next question. Uh, Mr. Nikunj Gala from Sundaram Mutual asked, how's uh, raw material scenario currently? Uh, I believe I covered this in my presentation where I talked about you know, how the commodities are moving uh, and, and that covers you know, uh, the, the question on raw material as well. Uh, Mr. Rohit Kadam from Entrust uh, asked whether there are plans to merge with other unlisted entities in India. Actually, this was a recurring theme, and many of you asked, asked questions on integration, merger opportunities. While we can't comment on, the, on this you know, price-sensitive information, our current corporate structure in India is delivering strong results. We will continue to focus on creating value for all our stakeholders. Uh, Mr. Rohit Kadam from Interest asked us, are there any new categories you plan to enter? Similarly, Mr. Sandeep Shanbagh from Excelsior also asked if the company intends to enter into new product categories other than fem feminine hygiene and cough and cold. Once again, while we can't talk about what's in the future, this year has been great in terms of our brands upgrading and introducing innovations across the portfolio. This includes Wix Zequil, which is the world's number one sleep su supplement, uh, Wix two in one roll on inhaler, <clears throat> and Wix Extra Strong on the healthcare portfolio. Uh, and of course, the consumer favorites, Whisper, uh, Whisper Hygiene Comfort, Whisper Choice Nights, and Whisper Softs, all in new avatars on the feminine care portfolio. Uh, Mr. Nikunj Gala from Sundaram Mutual asked how the competitive uh, intensity is currently. After a couple of years of flat volume growth, the industry as a whole is looking to come back strongly. Uh, and competitive activity is fairly intense. Healthy competition actually enables category growth, and we're all for it. There were a couple of questions on our ad spends. Again, Mr. Nikunj Gala from Sundaram asked, uh, what percentage of ad spend is, ma is management comfortable with in the long term? And similarly, uh, uh, Manaswi Shah from ICICI Prudential asked, how will ad spend span out for the rest of the year and next year? Uh, the ad spends are not determined by comfort levels. They're a function of the business need at hand and the right scale of consumer awareness needed to address it. Therefore, this could vary from year to year. The focus has always been and remains growing the category by delighting our consumers with superior propositions and locating the relevant touch points to create awareness with the right consumer audience. The next question we got was uh, uh, on whether we propose to expand manufacturing for exporting as well. Uh, today, our footprint in India also serves consumers across many other markets, including Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Philippines, South Africa, to name a few. Uh, Ms. Meenakshi from Hindu Business Line asked, how much does e-commerce channel contribute to your total sales? E-commerce is already contributing in double digits to our overall revenue. But of course, it differs by category and the choice a business makes on the channels for each segment. But the strong growth and momentum can be attributed to evolving consumer habits where consumers are shopping online to meet their, to meet their needs instantly. Along with this, e-commerce is opening up a new set of avenues to reach, target, and engage consumers. In fact, we are also learning and seeing early wins on specific formats like quick commerce. Let me take an example. Whisper has, single has a single-minded focus on developing evolving segments like nights and bringing in new users via driving education, leveraging right, uh, right topics and topicalities, and creating a buzz regarding bundles. Whisper nights is growing at 150 index versus a year ago, bringing a lot of the segment growth. Uh, Wix Zequil, one of our newest launches, seeks to help Indian consumers with the rest that they deserve and drive a significant mindset, a significant mindset shift across consumers, pharmacists, and customers. Zequil is the number one product in the past three months on e-commerce portals in the sleep aids category. 
moving on to the next question <clears throat> um mr gokul maheshwari from aurig asked us can you comment on the penetration and per capita usage what has been the capital growth and your market share movement in the last 5 years again a lot of you asked very similar questions um so ronak sony from uh, equirus asked us uh, you know uh, again about the low penetration levels um so ankit gupta from sbi mutual funds asked uh, you know how do we expand the market size for women women's hygiene uh, similarly mr vicky punjabi mr chokalingam narayan uh, ms dishash seth from uh, anvil all of you asked very similar questions so let me ad address this feminine care category is of course categorized by generations of taboos and stereotypes preventing girls from availing timely and appropriate awareness about periods and hygiene therefore our focus over the last 3 decades has been to drive menstrual health education and hygiene till date we've educated over 10 crore girls and mothers we have also spearheaded many consumer movements that challenge these stereotypes from touch hashtag touch the pickle to the recent hashtag keep girls in school you saw our recent communication as well during lv's presentation from being the first brand to advertise sanitary pads to now being the first to depict female anatomy in advertising whisper has consistently challenged these taboos this has also borne fruit for us femme care category has grown 23 times over the last 20 years 20 years ago 24 crore pads versus today 480 crore pads while our shares have hovered around the similar mark we have continued to be market leaders this has also led to the penetration of the category and and whisper increasing consistently this reinforces our belief in category growth as the driver for not just growing our business but also serving more consumers and doing good in the society bringing to life our mission of being force for growth and force for good <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Ronak Soni from Equitas also asked us, "How big is the unorganized se segment in feminine hygiene, and how does imports from China affect the sector growth rates?" Unorganized segment is around five percent of the overall market share, and it has stayed the same for the last few years. Uh, there has been no significant impact through imports, as most of the unorganized players actually operate from India. Uh, Mr. Sham Mehta from uh, Creages asked. Uh, i would like to know about the penetration levels of the sanitary pad category in india uh, divided by urban and rural uh, is there a case to have two different brands to address both markets uh, similar questions from mr siddarth patacharya on what's the addressable market size uh, on on feminine hygiene especially in rural india uh, similarly mr pratik uh, prajap prajapati from motilal oswal asked what might be the diff differing contributions from rural and urban uh, similar question from uh, mr mitesh kamdar um and uh, again from uh, uh, mr krishnan sambamurthy from nirmal bank uh, on what's the uh, penetration level uh, you know uh, uh, as compared to other brics countries so let me address all of these here um uh, as you all would have guessed penetration levels in rural india significantly lag those in urban india roughly the numbers are in the ballpark range of 60% plus in in urban india and below 35% in rural india having said that there is a significant opportunity to increase penetration even in urban areas in terms of value spent per consumer we are about 1/4 of the average brics consumption the penetration and consumption gap has only widened with the pandem pandemic pandemic in induced challenges our aim has been to address the common and diverse challenges faced by menstruators across markets and make superior propositions from our diverse portfolio available to them we are doing this by identifying needs designing propositions and making the products available to consumers i already spoke of our extensive efforts on busting taboos and myths regarding periods our whisper nike portfolio is an excellent example of catering to unique consumer needs elvi spoke about how the flow menstruation uh, the flow menstruators experience at night is different from flow at daytime due to gravity 
we have a product designed for it. Our, our Whisper Nights pads are up to 75% longer and wider to give the consumer maximum product protection and ensure no staining during period nights. I move to the next question on how has competitive landscape changed over the last five years, especially with the advent of Sophie, Stray Free, et cetera. I think uh, Manasri Shah from ICICI Potentials asked this question. Uh, yes, the competitive landscape has evolved and more competition has entered the category. But like I said, healthy competition can also help to grow the category. There have also been tough years given the pandemic induced challenges and commodity inflation that impacted the category and the industry at large. However, our overall growth during this period has remained strong as we've remained focused on driving our integrated growth strategy and remained focused on the consumer. Um, so Vicky Punjabi from UTI asked if there, if there are any thoughts on developing natural portfolio in healthcare. <clears throat> Actually, 90% of our healthcare portfolio in is naturals and Ayurvedic. Uh, Mr. Ankit Gupta from SBI asked, what do you prefer over the long term, market share or profitability? Look, it doesn't have to be an or. We believe and have demonstrated that market share can be delivered while growing the category top line and bottom line. We have proven that over the years with our integrated growth strategy. Um, so Aman Batra from Goldman Sachs said, uh, asked us to share the current direct and indirect distribution reach and plans to expand the same. Uh, similar question from Mr. Prateek, Prateek uh, Prajapati from Motila Loswal on uh, information about our existing distribution network, uh, including the quantity and, and, and locations of distribution centers. Uh, look, while we can't share details to the extent of our distribution network, uh, we did cover earlier about how we are leveraging the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to make our products reach more stores and better uh, serve consumers uh, from those. I hope that uh, adequately answers a significant part of that question. Uh, Mr. Pritesh Vora from Mission Street says, we have close to a thousand crores of cash on the books. Are we looking for an organic growth opportunity? Uh, and if yes, what kind of acquisition strategy do we have? Uh, this is price sensitive information and uh, unfortunately I'm unable to talk about this. Uh, again, another question from Mr. Pitesh Vora. Uh, can you please detail on product extension, if any? <clears throat> again, Mr. Uh, Avnish Roy from Nuvama also asked, uh, what's the percentage of uh, new products contribution? And um, uh, Ashwarya Dave from I Thought also asked if there are any new products to be launched in the near future. Uh, our two newest product launches have been Zequel Sleep Aid Gummies and Whisper Overnight Pants. Both are products that are unique and develop nascent category segments. And we're hoping to serve a very specific consumer need with these products. <clears throat> Mr. Tejas Trivedi from Barter Capital asked, uh, asked us to explain the uh, nature of flowing expenses, uh, business pro uh, of, sorry, uh, of business processing for outsourcing expenses, legal and professional expenses. Uh, business process uh, uh, outsourcing expenses are the charges that we that uh, are paid towards services that we receive from a uh, shared service center. Uh, these are in the nature of accounting, IT, and backend processes. Uh, legal and professional fees are what we are currently paying, uh, not just to legal firms that represent us, as well as ex external firms and agencies that are helping us on tax and regulatory matters, but also on data purchases. Nielsen data, for example, uh, which is purchased, uh, is actually uh, classified as uh, uh, under this heading. So that number might look high. Next question on uh, what are the products from Wix Global Portfolio that can be launched in India? Uh, this is from Mr. Krishnan Sambamurthy from uh, Nirmal Bank. Indian consumers are unique with their own habits and usage practices. Taking products from Global Wix Portfolio and launching in India without assessing the specific uh, consumer need in India can result in lukewarm business, business outcomes. The starting point is always unearthing the specific consumer need, post which we then assess the best way to serve that consumer need, including assessing products from our uh, you know, very rich global portfolio. The launch of ZQL, Wix steam pods, and Whisper period panties are prime examples of the global portfolio products 
serving the needs of Indian consumers. <clears throat> um, next question is, uh, any thoughts on reviving Old Spice brand to the fullest? Asks Mr. Uh, Amit Kadam from Canada Rebecca, who's clearly, like myself, a lover of the brand. Uh, we continue to make the best efforts to grow the brand. As the aerosol, deodorant, and aftershave lotion categories continue to expand, we strive to grow Old Spice with it and develop the category. The recently announced, uh, sorry, this is from uh, Ms., uh, uh, Mr. Priyank Ch Cheda from Valum Capital. Uh, the recently announced capex of 2000 crores in digestives for exports will be done under PGH. Uh, PGH uh, will it be done under PGH? If yes, when and how? Uh, a similar question from Mr. Kailash Rustag Rustagi uh, from BNS Risk. Um, this announced this announcement actually pertains to a different legal entity and not to PG, uh, PNG uh, Hygiene and Healthcare. Uh, the next question we got was on uh, whether we have begun witnessing green shoots in rural regions. Uh, this was from uh, Ms. Meenakshi Varma from the Hindu. Uh, yes, indeed, there are visible signs of green shoots in the rural economy. As I said earlier, we remain optimistic about the growth with some concerns about the monsoon and retail inflation, but the broader trend is very encouraging. Of course, it will also require companies like us to continue to invest in rural growth through awareness programs, trial and distribution, uh, which we are already working towards. <clears throat> uh, there were a couple of questions on margins. Uh, Mr. Mitesh Kamdar asked about what's the long-term ban for uh, EBIT uh, margins. Uh, similar question from uh, uh, Mr. Abnish Roy from Nuwama. Uh, and uh, uh, Amit Kadam from Canada, Rebecca also asked, uh, you know, how do we see gross margin and uh, uh, ANP behaving in, in, uh, in current financial year? I answered ANP earlier. Let me address the, uh, uh, the the margin question. We will continue to drive both top line and bottom line, as well as a bit the margins. The exact band is difficult to predict, but we aim to grow bottom line ahead of top line in the foreseeable future. This will enable us to fund innovation, raise the bar on superiority, and absorb the macro headwinds. The next question was on um, what's the internal benchmark uh, for growth and is it the market share multiplier to GDP? Uh, this is from Mr. Ajay Garg uh, from AM3 Ventures. Uh, we have a bouquet of benchmarks that we define for ourselves, including top line and bottom line growth, category growth, cost and cash, organization growth, um, and with ethics and corporate social responsibility guiding everything that we do. The next question was on uh, was from Ms. Disha Shade from Anvil on what's the company's thought on process of decomposition of feminine hygiene products? Are we coming out with products which are environmental friendly? Uh, we are on a journey of sustainability and we continue to work with the government and all other stakeholders. We continue to work with different state authorities and organizations to enable collection as part of our extended producers life, uh, responsibility. We are also working on partnerships with the municipalities and NGOs to collect the waste that consumers will segregate, and we are testing technologies to upcycle. In fact, environmental sustainability has been deeply embedded in PNG's business practices for many years now. We consistently strive to minimize our environmental impact and encourage consumers and suppliers to do the same across four scientific top focus areas, water waste, climate, nature water, waste, climate, and nature. We take pride in being, uh, in, in, in being able to collect back more packaging waste than we put out. Being zero waste to, fill land, uh, waste to landfill uh, across sites and leveraging renewable energy in our operations. We have made strong commitments, including an ambitious climate trans transition action plan, uh, Ambition 2030, which accelerates our efforts to combat climate change. We have committed to being net zero by the year 2040. In conclusion, we hope today's session was both informative and exciting for you. We have endeavored to respond to most of the questions that we have received from you, either in the presentations or in the Q&A section uh, at the end. Some questions, while we may not have called them out, would also have been addressed as part of what you heard from us today. Once again, 
we thank you for joining us on the call today